Hello, members and friends of First Parish Brewster. I'm Donica Buckley, the music director, and I want to tell you a little bit about our service on December 6th, Merry Blitzmas. I always enjoy planning for worship, but I must say I was particularly interested in this sermon topic regarding resilience. The resilience it took to survive the Blitz in 1940 and 41, when cities all over the UK were being bombed. They rebuilt through resilience and teamwork. We are in a time of needing resilience too to get through this pandemic. We can have resilience and still acknowledge that this pandemic is hard and tiring and so many other things. But as the Brits would say, we all have to do our bit. On Sunday, I look forward to the sermon and readings and to some lovely music from the 40s fitting for the season. I won't tell you about it today because I want to save it for Sunday and I hope you will enjoy it, of course. I grew up on the music of my parents' youth. I was always more interested in the history and stories of their generation than my own. I was totally captivated by music and movies of the 40s. While as a youngster getting caught up in the adventure and romanticized view of the war and the spirit, such as in Noel Coward's In Which We Serve. Fortunately, movies made today are much more realistic, reminding us of the horrifying reality of war. But I am in awe that my very gentle father served in the war as a paratrooper and trained in Nottingham, England. I've been to the estate where he trained. I have followed his footsteps through Europe, though I still have some to find in places in Belgium and in the Netherlands. My mother's best friend when I was growing up was Betty O'Hara from Wales. I miss her. Who moved to London as a young woman and worked for the Admiralty, which is the equivalent of our Navy Department. It was the department in charge of the Royal Navy. She told me of the bombings and the terror of it all, but with a spark of youthful adventure and a very stiff upper lip. She also never spoke about the work she did. I am pretty sure she knew secrets. I was fascinated more recently with the history of the Women's Land Army, growing food and food regulations, in the U.S., we also had ration cards, and I have some of my mom's. It is said that the population of Britain was at its fittest and healthiest, hungry for some items, of course, but through a nationwide campaign led by Lord Woolton, the Minister of Food in the early part of war, the war, people had enough, or mostly enough to eat, making do. One recipe that I've been meaning to try is basically a vegetarian shepherd's or cottage pie. This became as known as Lord Woolton Pie, perhaps less in honor of the man than more as satire, I think. The recipe for it was developed by the chef at the Savoy Hotel in London, and it was published in the Times in May of 1941. The description demands that the diner have resilience. I will make it one day. It sounds like good comfort food to me. Here it is, the official recipe. In hotels and restaurants, no less than in communal canteens, many people have tasted Lord Woolton pie and pronounced it good. Like many another economical dish, it can be described as wholesome fare. It also meets the dietitian's requirements in certain vitamins. The ingredients can be varied according to the vegetables in season. Here is the official recipe. Take one pound each diced of potatoes, cauliflower, swedes, which is turnip to us, and or rutabaga maybe, and carrots, three or four spring onions, if possible, one teaspoonful of vegetable extract, and one tablespoonful of oatmeal. Cook all together for 10 minutes with just enough water to cover. Stir occasionally to prevent the mixture from sticking. Allow to cool. Put into a pie dish. Sprinkle with chopped parsley and cover with a crust of potato or wheat meal pastry. Bake in a moderate oven until the pastry is nicely browned and serve hot with a brown gravy. So obviously this could be made vegan or gluten-free or whatever you wish. Uh, so someday I'm gonna try Lord Wilton pie and I hope you will too. I will see you this Sunday, December 6th for Merry Blitzmas.